post a tweet. Ooh. Ooh. Lawn, lawn, ranch milk. Lawn, lawn, ranch it's milk. <laughs> ranch milk. Going, going back to back to Nakluda, Cluda, Nakluda. <laughs> Link, the looter in Nakluda, the looter in Nakluda. <laughs> Link, the Luda in the Cluda. The Collector in Kakariko. The Hitman of Hyrule. Link.
my air conditioning off. Let's see how quickly I regret that. Oh. oh, I regret it. I already regret it. Uh, one hopes. The good of the scorpion is not the good of the frog. Let's get, let's get started. The looter in the cluder. My man Link. Uh, oh, oh. Dude, diamonds are forever sparkling around my finger and such. Oh yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right, hello all. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the dark room. I am Paul Hanton, the dude in the dark room, and it's April 7th. It's about 7.57 p.m. here on the west coast of the United Staters. Uh, and it's time for some more Zelda photography. Could be plowing around Hyrule, uh, looking for looking for sweet stuff to shoot, um, or let, letting sweet stuff to shoot find us because that that is how it ends up. Most most of the time, ends up something interesting pops up that we don't even tend to pop up. That's the kind of the fun of adventuring around and trying to find something cool to shoot in here. Uh, life is like. Uh, Breath of the Wild. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, if you want to watch previous episodes of John, <laughs> plow and shoot. Oh, yeah. Shoot. We're going to shoot and loot. <laughs> uh, uh, if you... How's it going, bro? Thanks for coming. Uh, if you are uninitiated, uh, if you are the unsullied uh, and you want to check out what we've done in previous episodes, check out YouTube. We got a pretty sweet little YouTube coming, coming up. You know, it's it's growing, of course. Obviously, if you're watching this uh, on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and whatnot. Uh, and if you enjoy photography-related stuff, uh, this is a great stream to follow as well. And would really, we'd really much appreciate it. In fact, I think I need to change my follower goal deal at some point. I'm meant to do that. I forgot. Whatever. I don't care. It's not important. <laughs> Although it is. Um, but uh, yeah, YouTube will have a lot of the past streams on there, uh, as well as some stuff that we're working on when we're doing streams, photographing in whatever game it is that we're playing. I'm building up a lot of material uh, to consolidate into a nice little video all about the photography in said game. In this case, uh, Breath of the Wild. We're going to have a lot to say about this one since we've been playing it uh, a lot. And there's a lot of photo elements in the game uh, to talk about. Uh, and there's a lot that I like about photographing in this game. Like I was saying earlier, it's really cool how there's so many random encounters that pop up uh, that make it interesting. The Breath of the Wild. Um, yeah, that's probably true. Um, and yeah, so eventually we'll have a, a sweet little video wrapping up our thoughts on, on the photography in here and whatever other games, uh, that we like to play or that we find, uh, some interesting photography elements in and do some videos on those. We've got a, we got a couple on the way. Oof. Drink water. Streamlabs. You are smart. I forgot to bring my water in. I'll be okay for now. Um, but yeah, you know, I hope everyone's having a good night, and I hope you're ready to sit back and, and relax and have some fun, because that's what we're here to do. Uh, we're going to enjoy our time adventuring through the land of Hyrule and taking some cool photos. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Sometimes we don't walk away with much, but uh, you know what? We have fun every time, and I hope uh, that's true. hope that holds true to the viewer's experience as well. 
Um, so yeah, if you've been having a bad day, uh, relax for a minute. I'm inviting you to relax. Um, think, think positive and, uh, let's have some fun. Uh, obviously it'd be sweet if everybody else was playing games and taking pictures and games while we were doing this, that'd be fun. Um, and if you do have any sweet game related photos, um, we have a pretty cool discord community coming together uh and a lot of people share in-game photography stuff on there which would be very very welcome um i apologize ahead of time if i'm not too engaged in whatever it is you share on there at this point i'm really bad with social media uh twitch is my social media you know what i mean that's that's kind of what i'm when i'm here this is when we're doing when we're doing social media kind of stuff when I'm off the stream, I just I'm bad at staying connected. But if there's a place where I will be connected with you, or you have a good chance of me connecting with you, it's gonna be Discord. It's gonna be our Discord community. Um, we have a whole photography section on there that, uh, uh, again, people are will uh, are, I'm happy to, to see people post their in-game photography, or just talk about photography uh, related in-game stuff or whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, so if you're taking photos while we're taking photos here, just share them on the Discord as well, and we'll, we'll all be able to enjoy them together. Um, and, yeah, other than that, I don't think I got anything, uh, I don't think I got anything. I always think I have stuff. I should probably, I mean, I have a clipboard, I just don't, it's just very rarely am I organized <laughs> enough to use it. Um. But yeah, I think that's it. There's not 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 much new happening uh, currently. So anyway, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the camp with a review, like a, a photo review of what we shot last time. Uh, we'll probably take some time. <laughs> Our reviews do take do take a minute. I have a lot to say. Um, I can critique the hell out of my own work. I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, but I, I, I'm not gonna be able to critique someone else's work very much. Um. But you will see, I have a lot to say about uh, uh, my shots and what I would want to change about them. Um, so we're going to do that first, and then we'll jump in and have, have some fun taking photos. Uh, if you have any suggestions, places you want to see shot, or ideas of images you want to see, you know, I'd love to hear that kind of stuff, do my best to get around to it. Uh, no guarantees. Sometimes you people ask for some pretty crazy things, you know, they're a little difficult to get, you know. Um, but either way, love love suggestions. Uh, and uh, other than that, sit back, relax. Let's have some fun. Let's take some photos. Uh, your weekend starts right now. It's Thursday. <laughs> um, yeah, we shot a lot of a very similar image last time. So we're going to have a lot of nuanced differences between some of these shots. And that's going to... What we'll probably take at the bulk of our of our uh, review time oh. here. Um, why am I looking at my computer monitor? You shouldn't do that. Um, uh, where are we go? I wish I could delete these memory images. They're just taking up room on my camera roll, dude. Cannot delete. Maybe it's because I haven't finished. Maybe did I not finish that quest yet? This is actually a good question. See, as we're doing this, every time we're doing any of these streams on any game for the most part some games i know a lot more about already and there's not as, as much of a learning curve um to how we can shoot in the game but i do learn things about how we can shoot in the game every time we play um the tricks of the trade of shooting of this game um we have been looking for a way to f to display these images which we tried to experiment with last time uh, a way to, to display these larger so that we could maybe get a high quality recording to share these outside of the game. But currently, um, I cannot. Uh, and then another mystery is is uh, getting rid of these because they don't. If these didn't, I don't. I don't think maybe. Whoa, maybe these don't take up room on my camera roll. Um. And I guess that wouldn't bother me. I guess I'd have to count 
I guess I'd have to count how many. Well, we got uh, 12 on each screen here, right? So that's 12, 24, 36, 48, and that's where it ends. Okay, so it doesn't take up space on the roll, so maybe it doesn't bother me as much. Um, right? Yeah, because that's 12, 24, 36, 48. Man, camera, television, photos. Um, but yeah, I guess those don't take up any space. So that doesn't bother me as much as I thought. Never mind. Again, never never really checked that. I never checked that. I was assuming you just have four. You got 12 photos on your roll that are holding holding you up. Um, but we're fine. We are fine. Let's move on amicably and shoot the photography. Um, oh, God, some of these are going to be tough to delete, man. Let's start. Let's go chronological with, with, our, with our last shooting experience. So we ended two weeks ago. We ended taking this awesome shot of the sunset over Hateno Village from the top of the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Look at that Thank you, horse. Redeem. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we stopped here, and we shot a little... We, we waited out the sunset. We shot periodically during the sunset. Waited for just, like, the, the prime moment uh, that the... Uh, um, there's the perfect time... Uh, uh, why can't I think of the name? Uh, uh, the word I'm looking for. Either way, we waited for the perfect moment, um, and it happened to be right as the sun was just about to go down behind the dueling peaks here. Tip of the sun just got me, Odell. Just broke through those clouds, gave us a nice star uh, sunbursts and beautiful flare. Flare wasn't too distracting. A piece of that just um, yeah, exactly. Just Thank you. Me, <laughs> sun, the sun just got me on this one. Uh, although I will point out this. At this point, the sun went down maybe just a little too much for the foreground. Uh, we lost a little bit of the vibrance in the foreground color. We lost a little bit uh, of the brightness in the foreground color. And so it, it, it kind of lost a little bit of the splendor that it had in this moment just before uh, we took this this final keep. That's why I kept both of these. One for, for that talking point, so I could point that out. Um, and then two, because these are hard to delete, although I'm probably going to end up deleting one of these. But anyway, we're waiting for the decisive moment. Thank you. We're waiting for that decisive moment. Um, Hatana Tech Lab belongs then GD. Thank you. Uh, what's up, Salt Man? Um, uh, yeah, I love, I love this shot. I will keep, I'll probably keep the one with the sun peeking out rather than, like I said, I mean, the foreground and this first one is better, but then the, uh, the actual sun is very special in the second shot without losing maybe too much of what we wanted from the shot. Um, although again, if I could blend these two, I would be all about that. I would be all about that. Uh, which we could probably again if I could if I could get these if I could export these off my off my switch get them onto my computer I could fool around in Photoshop I don't know how much I think my frame didn't change at all maybe it looks like maybe it looks like I shifted my my frame maybe a little bit um, but I should be able to blend those two together very easily you have the technology yes I mean we could. And I've said this before. I will go in and I'll do a I'll do a day. I will do a day where we actually try to do some editing. I've said this with the Fallout photos as well. Um, that we'll we'll play around. We'll see what kind of what kind of malleability these files have, even though they're going to be compressed to hell uh, and extremely low resolution, especially in this game, because again, there's no way to view these large screen without any kind of weird dist I mean there's no this is the largest I can I can look at this it's not even a full screen image and then there's on top of that this weird distortion going on the Sheikah slate distortion uh, but either way we'll, we'll mess around with that um, stuff I say every single time 
Uh, but anyway, as we were shooting this, the whole reason we went into this, back to this stuff, we're like, why are we reviewing stuff from two weeks ago, buddy? We're just, uh, we're just talking about the story. We're going through the story of, of how we got to where we were during the beginning of last week. Uh, but anyway, so two weeks ago, we ended here. And then just after sunset, while we were waiting around, uh, a star fragment fell just... Let's see what direction would that be. I love tr I love trying to remember these directions. So we were looking over Hateno Village towards Dueling Peaks. So we were looking west. So uh, the star fragment fell just to the west of, um, or let's see, what would that west? What kind of, what actual direction it would have been? Because that's looking towards Kakariko, right? Kakariko would be on the right of the dueling peaks there right yeah because we're looking you got the pill pillars of levia um of course seated just above lake saila <laughs> everyone knows that um so yeah the star fragment fell to the uh northwest ish just to the northwest of Ateno village and when we saw that star fragment come down i knew i was it was gonna be sp some special uh Photographically speaking, because we have had these shots, we've had a couple that we've kept, and I'll, tr I'll probably keep this one that we have saved. We have two of them saved. If I delete one of them, it's going to probably be the one of this adventurer going off to, f to discover it. I think we caught this like a little bit too late in, in the day. This is like just before 5 a.m., uh, which is when the star fragments light will cut off north by northwest. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. Um, yes, now. thank you. <laughs> Ooh, is there any? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I was gonna say photography in Jean Claude Van Damme movies that I, I and and I'll I'll do the research on that. Don't worry about it. Keep it keep an eye out though if you're watching some Van Damme. Anyway, when these star fragments fall, it adds a beautiful light source at the location where it falls. And it adds this beautiful pillar of light going up into the sky. And to be honest, it's actually kind of a difficult subject to compose well. I mean, it really, it depends on where it's going to fall and what it's surrounded by. Um, in this case, I, this shot probably wouldn't have been very special had this adventure not been walking towards the light. I love it because it builds a story in the image. It builds the story of this adventurer walking towards this light source to find out what's what's fallen from the sky. That's, that's the story that I'm trying to build. Other than that, though, and I, I do love the atmosphere in this shot. I will, I will say there's a lot of peripheral area uh, in in the frame that doesn't really need to be there. I probably could have zoomed in at least 15%, uh, cut out a lot of the peripheral area, and then maintained all the elements to hold that storyline in place. Uh, and I think we had we had like one or two tighter shots, but then at, I think at that point, it was either when the adventurer was too close to the camera or when the adventurer was too far from the camera. Um once I corrected for my compositional errors, sometimes, you know, in a journalistic type situation, you just shoot, you know what I mean? If you like, if it's, if it's elements that are not under your control, you got to, you have to just shoot. And then you got to let your, your compositional brain, um, take a back seat and just make hope, hope that you, you, you just choose the right composition, um, in a very quick, uh, rapid way because uh, we didn't have time. I think I try. I was trying to compose for this, but then this guy walked up and then I got kind of flustered, which is something I'm working on. Not getting so flustered when things just pop out at me um, in general, in a general sense, but also when we're shooting, when something exciting happens, I get very, I get very excited. And then uh, I think I fuck shit up because I don't have that relaxed mindset I'm all of a sudden in like fight or flight mode. It would almost appear. Um, anyway, 
these are great shots. So I knew we were going to want to come to uh, the area where the star fragment had fallen. Um, and we took this beautiful shot, Mount Lanairu, with the star fragment beam um, highlighted in the bottom left corner there. And a little bit of the, uh, let's see, what tower would that be? Looking toward, toward Lanairu. Um, that should be... Where's the, where's the, where, where the tower? It would have been Hate, it is Hateno Tower. Yeah, it should be Hateno Tower. Yeah. Yeah. Hateno Tower on the right side, which it's actually surprising. I was surprised that the blue glow from the tower was not as, um, bright as, as, as they usually are. Those like, uh, the Sheikah blue stuff whatever it is the shika blue goo blue goo nano machine liquid stuff um that is like flowing through all the electronic are they are they electronic i don't know if these are considered electronic devices um but those usually they have a very vivid bright color to them and in some cases that's actually not desirable because it will it will actually stand out way too much and it will maybe distract from something else we're trying to trying to view. Um, no way to get the shot. Oh, what is this? Something Jean-Claude Van Damme camera. Okay, wait. We gotta check this out. What is this? What you've sent me is an advertisement for some sort of a original TV show. Oh, I see. I can skip it now. <laughs> oh, I see. The moving camera. Jean-Claude. Shit. One minute. 8,000 8, likes? Almost 9,000 likes? For hard target. Nah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a little Nikkor lens on that periscope camera. I've worked with those cameras before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll watch this. I'll watch the rest of this later. I'll finish it later. Yeah, they just pulled out all their gizmos. I feel like I've seen, I've definitely seen this before. Um, 99% of these shots are like, you can get with a gimbal now, a gimbal and or a drone, uh, gimbal on a drone. <laughs> How simple, dude. That is where, that is where the camera tech side of things has advanced. Uh, camera stabilization. Pretty incredible, the advances in, in that, in that in the recent years. Brushless gimbals and whatnot. Okay, anyway, very nice. Uh, to get some serious possibilities. Yeah, it that does actually, bro. Got to remember that. Okay, okay. Uh, hop on one minute and ten seconds. Oh, okay. Anyway, very nice. I I encourage everybody to watch that a little behind the scenes and how Jean Claude gets things done. Uh, whilst sporting a beautiful, beautiful mullet, I might add. What happened to Jean Claude's mullet, dude? What the hell happened, dude? It's like I when I go to a Jean Claude flick, I'm expecting to see very greased up, very wet uh, mullet. Okay, that's all I want. That's all I care to see. I need to see it flipping around. What it does is it emphasizes the force of your roundhouse kicks because not only does your foot kick, but the back of his hair does a similar kind of kick thing, and that generates more spin on the kick. It's all very good. Um, so give me back. Beautiful. Thank you. Doing well. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a mullet there. What the fuck? No, I'm just kidding. We'll get we'll get some Jean Claude mullet stuff going on. Uh, maybe a, a Jean Claude mullet redemption. Okay. Anyway, we're spending so much time. Okay. We saw this the star fragment fall, and where did it land? Ooh, just happened to land outside a Cam Urag shrine, of course. 
the uh, number one shrine in the industry. Industry standard shrine. Um, I was actually a little bit bummed with the location it fell off, it fell to because it actually fell in into this little ravine, um, this little space between I don't know if it's technically a ravine or not, but the space between uh, this hillside. So there was really no beautiful view to capture along with uh, with the star fragments glow. Um, if we had been when I shot the reverse of this. I'm at the I'm at this little dead end cul-de-sac of this little ravine, and uh, the shrine is just situated along the far side. So it was I think that we we tried to capture a couple with with the uh, with the see there's the this is what I'm talking about when I talk about that blue glow from the shika the shika shika liquid um that really stands out and here I could compose it and balance the frame well with opposite sides being very bright and glowy um but a lot of these didn't come out that well either way the spot it wasn't the best the really the interesting element that we could compose with uh was the stone um the stone statuettes lining the floor here around the shrine um but none of them and, and there's a couple keys that popped up to throw a wrench throw, to really grind our gears. This shot probably is the best of the bunch. I did like the view looking out through the little valley. That's cool. Um, and like I had said, the only thing was there's a lot amount of a lot of uh, empty space in the top portion of the frame in the sky as well. We wanted ideally, obviously, the moon to be popping out uh, from behind the clouds right there, or to just have a beautiful cloudy cloudy starry night. Uh, or just stars, any kind of texture. It just is a gray void of nothingness. And that the hillside uh, just below the the cliffside, just below that um, that sky, is also not that interesting. But at least there's a little bit of texture there. Um, so we wanted this keys placed in that zone to add something interesting to to break up that that negative space that has nothing going on. That would have been fine. Uh, but the keys didn't really behave. They act very erratic, uh, erratically. They're erratically acting. Um, and it flew a little bit too low. I probably could also, also though, I was working with not wanting to tilt here. I could have tilted down a little bit and that probably would have helped the composition out a little bit. Um, but had I tilted down also, we would have gotten into some things on the ground that I was trying to frame out specifically thank you um specifically the uh platform for the shrine itself was sneaking into the bottom of my frame what's up paxmore um look yes that horse uh thank you um trying to tilt down i was running into that little platform which was a weird texture compared to uh what we wanted either those stones or the grass. So I was kind of between a rock and a hard place here. Um, and ideally the keys would have fell into that top upper portion of the frame and would have balanced it out even better, but whatever here, here, what we could do to alleviate that is crop. What I would do is just crop a very, maybe like a 30%, eh, 25, 20, 20%, let's say 20, 20% off the top of the frame would have held all the interesting elements, uh, would have told the exact same story. And it actually probably would have looked, it would probably look really sweet because I, I love wide screen, uh, wide screen aspect ratios or wider aspect ratios generally. So that would have been really fun. It would have looked like a little cool Zelda panoramic. Maybe I'll save this so we can try to download it and again, edit that to our liking. Um, but these show the shots of the landscape itself, eh, this this the the composition here probably would have felt better as a vertical because there's so much interest in like a very slight a very uh centralized vertical slice area or not even centralized but just um more of a vertical uh amount of space to to compose more of the interesting stuff whereas all the extraneous stuff I don't really want 
is on the right and the left side um, in, in a lot of these, or in, in this composition. Um, although this one's pretty cool. I do, yeah, I, I do like looking through that, that walkway. It is pretty sweet. Um, anyway, this first one, nah. Let's just say this first one is like a nah. Even though here we did catch some of the blue and the stars in the sky a little bit. And then it, it, you know, the clouds rolled in and we lost it. We also lost, you can't even see that mountain. Um, I don't know what mountain that would be. That would be, had, there's there. little, see the mountain we were looking at, Cliffs of Quaints. Uh, maybe that's Ebon Mountain. If we were looking out from this little, this is the zone, this is the little valley. Um ravine that we're shooting through and so we would have caught going straight this way. yeah it probably is ebon it's probably ebon mountain it's either ebon mountain ebon musk's mountain or it's stinger cliffs could be stinger cliffs <laughs> it may in fact be meaty mountain meta 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 mount Tehran. <whistles> dude we're gonna have to go here man I forget what this spot is, and there's a boss in there. If that's green enough, dude, we'll shoot some in there. Mark my words. Um. Anyway, any, any, anyway. <sighs> yeah, we'll delete this first one. The second one's eh, two. And then the one of the keys, I guess I would be, that's kind of our keeper. See, in this one, I found a way. This for, this one feels much more well-balanced overall. Although, here's one thing we noticed after the fact, of course. I should have composed... Although, I was working more with the, with the view that we're seeing in the background. That's why I picked this exact perspective. But I would have liked it if the uh, fragment was not riding that tree just directly down the center of the tree i probably ideally it would have been placed just on the right side of the statuette that's sitting there so that its beam was cutting between those two trees it's a bit of an element stacking or a stacking of the visual elements that i'm not a big fan of whenever things happen like that i didn't really notice it that much it's not that big of a deal and it is kind of nice how it highlights that tree but it, it just would have been cooler or just in front of the bigger tree uh, might have felt better so that it, it didn't like because it's 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 blocking so much of that tree tree. It just looks weird to me uh, the more I look at it. Uh, but no, no big deal. No big deal. So anyway, let's delete this one. This is like eh, and then we'll just save the key shot. We'll save the key shot. That's the best of those bunches. Um, and then we got the the statuettes with the fragment. Not the best shots in the world. I thought it looked kind of cool. It would have been really fun had it fallen like directly in front of a small group of them and it all looked like that they were coming around, huddling around it and viewing this glowing orb. Um, but it, 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 that's not the way it ended up. It ended up falling on the one far side of all these guys. Um, so I don't think it works with this type of shot, personally. It's okay. Um, this shot's okay. It's it's okay. It's okay. Also, we learned that we could cut the grass uh, to reveal more of the area in front of the statue. I got to remember to do that. If there's any smaller objects on the ground, and I'm like, whoa, the grass is just blocking it here. Got to remember I can swipe that, swipe that with my knife. I got a bunch of knives on me at all times. Link does, of course. Um, anyway, this is this is no. No, Ravine. Wait a second. Wait. Stop all the download and redeem. Oh yeah, the GI Joes. Yes, yes. Ravine. That's true. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll figure. We can figure out some some redemptions of those guys. Uh, my list is ever growing on the redemptions to add. Anyway. Let's delete this one. Not a big fan. Um, okay. And then here we're getting into after we shot our little uh, star, star fragment. 
we happen to just be right down the road from Fort Hateno, uh, which we have shot in the past, and I will probably shoot again um, as time goes on. I reserve the right to come back to any spot, any spot, and just continue firing, firing off shots. Shots fired, okay? Crossfire, okay? The best board game ever made. Uh, Y'all think d and is fun and uh, just like the best? Like, no, you could do it's Crossfire. It's Crossfire or Hungry Hungry Hippos, and the debate will persist for the remainder of humanity's existence, in my opinion. Um, but we were just down the street for Hateno. Uh, and uh, we were like, let's go try to get... I did love the shot of the portcullis that we had taken on, on a very early stream. Like, it was a very early experience shooting in Breath of the Wild, shooting at this spot. And we want to try to get a better version. I wasn't really happy with how I had lined up uh, or framed the portcullis within my frame, within the, within the picture frame. The frame of the portcullis wasn't framed well within the picture frame of the picture. It wasn't framed. It just wasn't framed well. Uh, and on some of these, it will have that. It will have a similar issue where I'm just off tilt or uh, panned one to the left or to the right just a little bit. Ideally, the portcullis would be parallel. Uh, the gate of the portcullis would be parallel with my frame. That's what I was going for. Um, if it's slightly off, it looks like a dirty frame to me. Uh, you have to you have to offset like if you want if you want to be looking down a parallel line like that that should be parallel with your with your frame or to the top and bottom of your frame. Um, there's like a certain there's a, obviously compositionally dependent on subject dependent, but like you want to be you want to have it at least look as if it was planned rather than again the shots like I think one of these I was trying very difficult to remain parallel here. Oh yes, adventure popped up again. We were looking for one of those guys with the horse. Yeah, this guy with the horse is the one that we shot. And I needed a I needed a frame between these two. We'll go back. We'll try to get that that shot again. Look at the way, by the way, the dueling peaks as the light. Look at the way the light and it would have been beautiful if there were some uh sun rays blasting through between the dueling peaks, but the way the light starts to uh uh, pop from between those peaks as the sun goes down is really cool. Adds a lot of dimension. Whereas these ones where it, where you can't, there's no light peeking between them. You can't really see those dimensions as well. Damn. So I, I would obviously prefer the mountain to look like that. The mountain looks badass like that. I should have tilted down a little bit on this one because I would have gotten the horse's hoof. Okay, let's not get into those ones yet. We'll get into those ones in a second. Oh, this is going to take a minute, people. Let's hope we get to some shooting. Um, so, I do like these shots where there's a, tr a, a projectile flying towards me. Unfortunately, this one didn't work out because we missed the... I would love the arrow to have been... A little bit, a little bit more visible. I mean, the arrow's not visible at all. It's it's flown past the bottom of the frame. Had I caught this as the arrow was just about to hit the bottom of the frame or a little bit further back, it actually could have been really cool. I don't really like that it's just a straight white line. What am I what am I using? Uh the watch laser. The tip just got me, Odell. Yeah, thank you. This looks like I'm using the watch laser from uh, Goldeneye to shoot this guy, you know? That's what the watch laser ends up looking like. Which I'll point out, if you have infinite ammo and the watch laser, you can just use it more like a lightsaber than anything else. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, this shot's not that great. Let's just delete it. Plus, the character, the, 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 the ninja, looks like he's sitting on top of the mountain because of the lack of depth of field. 
or the extreme depth of field rather um it it there's no perspective and so it looks like that he could be sitting on top of that thing i know it doesn't really look like that but it kind of does um so we'll delete that one that one's easy to get rid of and then all of these are essentially the same thing and we're really just trying to get him obviously also waiting for the light to be decent um because this wasn't the best time to shoot in the mid-afternoon although it does make the colors very vibrant uh and the blue sky looks great uh but it's not as dramatic as it could have been had this been like a sunset shot um, and I'll say this, I don't like, as, as the time went on, I don't like how the sun started to, uh, cascade along the left side of, of the wall. Cause that actually, that makes it, the frame feel a little less balanced. It makes, uh, it makes the, the two walls feel very uneven. Whereas as if they're both in shade, it feel like it, it feels like they have the same shape. Um, whereas like the, that light shining, it, it changes the, the, the feeling of the shape of the wall on the left side. And then it's not balanced with the right side, which we were creating a frame uh, within the frame using that that wall in the portcullis. And it kind of threw it off to, to feel unbalanced like that, in my opinion. So ideally, we'd, we'd save one of these that has. And honestly, I don't think any of these, none of these came out like, oh, that's perfect, in my opinion. None of them came out perfect. So maybe I'll just delete all of them. I feel like I should save one of them. But I don't really like, like, none of them. This one was probably, this is probably the best in terms of, of the NPC's pose. That's a really cool pose. I love, I don't know if that's like their currency that's flying around them, what those little cards are. I'd be interesting to know what, what those are supposed to be. Looks like they got the picture of the Eye of Truth on there, maybe. So the Eye of Truth and then three little things on top of it. Should have zoomed in. Um, but yeah, is that all their money? Are they like just so so packed full of cash that it just flies out when they're when they're disappearing and appearing or are those like maybe those are kind of like little calling cards so that when they strike they can leave the calling cards behind and everyone's like oh no uh, it's another attack by the clan and then the scared they're scared people are scared now but i i don't know i guess they have the eye of truth on their face too is that the eye that is the eye of truth right is that is that Sim is that like look like something else in the game that I don't know about the eye of truth magnifying glass thing it's not a mag well it looks kind of like a magnifying glass but it's it's an eye of truth um yeah I don't know if any of these really came out very well but either way this is the best pose I would have loved this pose uh, but it plays somewhere else in the frame he's very far on the left side and I think I thought it felt balanced because you have that green vine growing up the wall on the right side. And so I kind of felt like those two things are kind of balancing the, the, the far right and left side of the frame. But then it's like, again, bad time of day to shoot. It feels like we should be looking at something under the portcullis or through that gate, uh, which is basically the Dueling Peaks Mountain. But it doesn't it because the, the guy on the left is distract. It just feels all, all it's no, it's no. Other than the pose, though, I think I saved this because I liked that timing on his pose. I uh, would have been even better had he just shot an arrow. No, let's delete it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. Um, this one's kind of eh. I'm not in the center of the port of the actual archway, uh, which isn't the, that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's the it's it's not the best time of day. He's He's a little bit too small. Like, I was waiting for him to pop up. Ideally, he would have been, like, almost exactly underneath the portcullis, so his size was uh, exaggerated compared to all those other elements in the frame. Uh, and then it would have been nice if he was, like, cut halfway between the mountain or something like that. But, eh, no, yeah, no, delete that one. 
This one's great because he happened to jump and he's just between the arm of that guardian that's sticking out along the right side of the wall, sticking out from behind the right side of the wall. Um, he's just placed perfectly between that in the in this place between that and the sky and the uh, or in the uh, dueling peak, dueling peak mountainside, composed in front of the sky underneath the guardian's arm. So that was kind of fun that it's fit in that little area, and that's what I am usually aiming for when I talk about trying not to stack elements. That's a good representation of those elements right there. None of them stacked, nice and separated. But it the uh, the uh, no, other than that, that's kind of crap. So let's just say no. Uh, this shot's okay. It does have that lighting issue that I was talking about. Where the the light along the left side of the wall it just throws off it like it just does not it doesn't do good things in my opinion so I don't know I mean they're not the worst here his size is better his size in the frame is a lot better I'll say not this one even though he's in a decent position there. And I like his pose because he's about to shoot his arrow. Um, although his bow, this is a great example of like, what is he holding? I know that he's about to shoot me with a bow and with a bow and arrow, but I do not think that would be legible to somebody outside of the game who does not know what this character is. Whereas this one, he's clearly like he's posing with the bow. You can see the shape of the bow. You can see the string itself. So you could read this as a man or a a character holding a bow, whereas this one you could not. And he's not even here. If like again, if the projectile was shooting out, this could have been cool. But no, let's just delete that one. Um, these two are. A s I like how the light is fading. That hard cut on the left wall there from the sun blasting on it. This one looks better in that regard, but then again, we're, it, this is the same pose as that last one where his uh, his bow is, is not legible, so let's delete that one. This one's same illegibility of the bow. Although uh, Dually Peaks, is there's there is a lot of light uh, breaking through here. Really emphasizing that crack between those between those mountains. Um, nah, this one feels sloppy. This one feels sloppy. I think I tilted up just a little too much here. He's he's composed very centered, uh, at least centered horizontal center line in the frame, and he's pretty close to the center center line there, which isn't that big of a deal. I don't. I mean, we have composed a very symmetrical frame so it wouldn't have hurt it wouldn't have felt off for a very centralized composition on the main subject uh but he, it just doesn't work on this one it sucks let's just delete that one i still like that one and okay so that's it that's the that's our keeper and you know what this yeah I, I like this one the best it feel it definitely feels balanced his position in the frame is great um his pose is okay. Uh, at least you can read what he's holding to it to an extent. Um, the color looks cool. You know, it's beautiful color. There's at least some clouds in the sky breaking up, uh, adding some texture in the sky. There's some light breaking between dueling peaks. Um, it's not that... I do not like the way that the shape feels, the way the sun... The, the hard shadows feel but that's fine it's not the worst i just want like it doesn't it makes the frame feel uneven is what it does instead of a fe feeling like a nice frame within the frame it feels like a lopsided frame inside the frame that's what it is so it i would i would have preferred to not try no, I mean, either way, I just would have composed it maybe a little different had I caught on to the shape of the light there and how that's going to make it feel different. But 
Either way, this is an okay shot. We'll keep that one for now. It'll probably be this. Pretty much all of these from last time, or at least these two. Uh, these are going to be on the chopping block. I feel like I say that about a few, a lot of things, and I don't end up deleting them. This one of the cold-footed wolf. This has got to be. This is probably going to go. Although I do like it. I do like this shot. Um, I like all the shots. I mean, that's why I'm taking. That's why I've taken them. I do not take what I do not like. All right, so we'll say that, and then, then we had the great fortune. Um, although these people, I think these these people are on a pretty strict schedule. I think if we came here around sunset, they would all be doing this exact same thing, which is good because we can we can try to remember that and come back to this spot whenever we want to try to grab this particular shot. Um, best followers, primes of viewers. Remove the space. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, it's Nori. Hey, buddy. Best followers, primes, and viewers on Mr. M space dot store. Remove the space. I think. I think you copy pasted a uh, something and you forgot to remove the space between Mr. M and the dot store. Sorry, buddy. Um, either way, I hope you're doing well. I should ban. Should I ban? Because that's a bot or a... Or, yeah, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not much of a banner. I ain't no Bruce Banner. Either way, you got me excited. Hey, it's Nori. Thanks for nothing. I think people actually will make comments about the photos, and then I, here I am. Here I am being institutionalized by you. How am I being institutionalized? I don't know. Um, anyway, we come back to the same spot because we know these people's schedule. Uh, as much as I did say random encounters and never knowing what we're going to get in this game, which is true for the most part because I'm not going to remember everybody's schedule at every particular location in every area of the game. So it it is still fairly random encountering type situations. Uh, but... Also, these, I think, stuff like this, these people are on a schedule, so they kind of could be there. Can you mid mid this spam out of here? Yeah, mid this spam. Mid it. Uh, I can, I could, I could ban if I want to. I just, I don't know, I don't know what that is going to do. You know, it's like the problem is that then, how are they going to learn? You know? <sighs> eh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was kidding. I was kidding. No, I don't need anybody to do anything. That's what it's, it's, it's cool. Um, anyway, this 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 uh, adventurer, salesperson, traveler, whatever this person is, this person came along as the sun was going down. We shot this little walk up. This would make a really good l little gif. It'd be like a cool little like progression of him walking up. That we're never gonna be able to do because uh, I can't get these photos off here. Um, anyway, uh, obviously the one of him probably closest to camera. Definitely this very far one we can definitely omit. Second closest to camera. Eh. I still feel like they're so far that they're getting a little bit lost amongst those things in the background. Not really, but kind of. Um, so let's delete that one. Easy. And then between these two... I like it when he's closest to frame. Although it honestly is not that drastic of a difference between the two. So let's look at the other elements here. I like his pose. Both both of them have the almost the ex very similar pose. I will say he's a lot more stacked up to his donkey. Or not a lot more, but slightly more stacked up against his donkey in this first shot. Whereas the second one, they've separated like by, you know, half a foot. Um, he's also the largest in the frame there. Kind of 
composition wise, not much has changed. Looks like I backed up just a little bit. Did a little bit more of the, that ivy growing up the right side of the wall on this last one. So I'll keep the last one. There's enough positive changes. And he's he's a little bit he's a little bit further away from the bottom edge of the frame in the second shot, which feels a little bit better. It looks like he's just maybe a little bit closer to the bottom of the frame here. Because he's gonna step out of the photo, whereas this it looks like he's gonna continue walking down the path. So okay, yeah, we'll, we'll delete this one. Save the second. I believe I have I have on at least one occasion been like choosing between two and been like, okay. We'll save this one. We'll delete the other one. And then deleted the one that I wanted to save. That didn't happen here. So we're good. Um, there's a flying V in here. We, we, we do like that. Uh, but other than that, this shot's eh. It looks like this this photo. Yeah, no. Other than the flying V, nothing really that great about it. I like that the sun's coming, coming down. The color's looking great. There's that V again. But now the V is getting kind of bitten in uh, almost at least the furthest back top bird is kind of riding the edge of that portcullis pike spike kind of eh it's not the best this is the best shot not the best shot um yeah so we'll delete that one we're waiting around we we're just killing time before adventure on horseback popped up uh i should know this guy's name but i do not like, yeah, no, I do not you know these guys' names. I should know them, but I don't. Um, so, again, this could be a good little gif. Three, three picture gif. The guy walking out from another portcullis. Uh, but other than that, here, if I had tilted down a little bit, I think this would have been the better shot. It The, the image... Well, the other thing here, though, is that it, he's now blocking that space between the dueling peak, which is kind of an interesting visual element. And I'll, honestly, none of these came out that great. It's going to be this middle one. Although the light between dueling peaks is the best in the last image. At this point, the rider, it, it's it, very unlegible. Horses do not look good straight on on either side of them because again all the limbs are stacked can't even see the tail i can't even tell what the hell's happening so let's just say this one's definitely not the best thing about this image is that beautiful light uh between the mountain there that's the only kind of saving saving grace other than that though just delete that one um uh here my shadow oh dude do we not do a self-portrait i didn't do a self-portrait at the end of the stream last time uh either way the shot is not the best and my and my halberd uh popped in uh shadow of a halberd popped in the bottom bottom of the frame is that the bat wing flying into frame in the sky uh, the silhouette of the bat oh, actually the bat wing i think the nose i think the nose is in line with the wings on the bat wing it looks like a bat wing. Okay, whatever. We're deleting it. Bang a rang. And again, between these two, I don't like this. That this the hoof, the hoof on the sucker is cut off here. What I like about what I like about this one is that there's less. This is the least stacked of all the elements. We're looking at a kind of a looking at the horse from a forty-five degree angle from the back. And you can see its hooves are separated. You can kind of see the outline, uh, the, the profile of its face a little bit. Um, I probably would have rotated it a little bit more. So it would have been uh, even more profile So we could have read a little bit more of what's going on. Um, but then also because it's close to the camera, it also kind of stands out. And it pops out of the frame a little bit more, adding a little bit more dimension. Uh, then we let when we let it recede back into the frame. Um, 
but other than that, that just honestly, just that hoof being cropped out, the bottom of the frame is enough to just say no to me. Um, so we got one man comes in, one man goes out, and guy tries to kill me with the bow. That's cool. Um, all right, and how much space? We got 20 photos. We got plenty of room now, I'd say. I'd say we got plenty of room. Um, and we have, I have, I have things that we can delete as well. We have some other options to delete here. Older shots that we don't, we don't need. Um, ooh, okay, so it's a beautiful star scale. Well, first of all, let's save. That'd be a huge bummer if I went through that entire edit session without saving. So. Is this Sheena? It's Kalisa. Kalesa. Kalesa from Odessa. Sup? Let's see, try to get a shot of you just leaving Hateno, bro. Let's see. Oh, wait. Something's about to shoot me or hit me or something. It's not a bad shot. I want her walking kind of closer to, towards frame, though. Ooh. It's not bad. Save that shot. Thanks, Kalesa. Yes, I'm gonna keep this old picture that Dude, maybe she'll get attacked by something. Attack her! Oh! I thought she was gonna get like attacked. Run! I feel like I'm in an MMO now and I'm running with somebody. Dude, let's get a shot of her, like, fleeing from... Whoops. She's all scared. Ooh, and then she, like, turns and just, like, poses. Sweet. I like the grass. I like the grass. <laughs> I like the grass. <laughs> I was told to never say things that could be cut and then taken out of context. <laughs> okay, also, try to remind me to never have a halberd on because, because of the shadow inherent with having this giant pike sticking out of my back. Um, whoops, I scared the goat. Is this cleaver gonna do it too? No, it's okay. Um, stay away, monsters. <gasps> Look at that moon, dude. Look at that moon. Okay. Um, ah, I'm gonna need a shot of the front side of the portcullis with the moon rising above. Uh, done. Although I do, I feel like I should include her in the frame. Let's get the shot of this first. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, that looks gorgeous. Okay, and then let's her, let her compose herself somewhere nice here. Oh shit, that was it, we lost it. We lost the opportunity, bro. Ooh, that's okay. That's an okay shot. I was afraid, it felt, it felt like I was getting dangerously close to the edge of the frame here. I'll back up. Let's try to get one more of those type of shots. Go into the porcolis. Ah! Nah, that shot's not gonna be as good as that last one. So let's delete that right away. So what are you going now? I guess she got scared. And now she's like, my timetable is messed up, and now I have to walk back this way. Okay, look at these. Look at these guys. Damn, that moon moves fast, dude. Why your day and night cycle must be so fast? Why? <laughs> Give me that shroom, dude. Okay, moon with uh, bokos. Come here, bokos. I need to get them on top of the hill. I have to be down so I can have an elevated perspective looking up. Let's get this moon in there. Although we're gonna miss it, dude. It's gone. It's so, like, maybe I can get them over here. Ugh. Maybe. Let 
This would be a sweet shot if the... Yeah, they're not even following me anymore. Kite as I might, uh, I fail. Dude, those owls, they have to... They had to have made them tr sound like Mario on purpose, right? Woohoo! <gasps> okay. Still no freaking moon. I would have loved to hear... Oh, snaps, dude. Do I want to try to include the keys with this guy? I bet he'll hit the keys with the bow. Ooh, no. Crap. Yeah, let's see if we can get him to kill the keys. Watch this. Oh, that was close. Shoot them, dude. Shoot them. Shoot her. Ah, miss me. Oh, that was close. Is it avoiding shooting the keys? Because you can definitely get... You can definitely get them to shoot. I don't know if... Maybe it only works with... Uh, oof, enemies of the same type. Like, I know I've seen Boko goblins. Oh! They're just, like, a little bit too high in the frame or something. Okay, well, now that I've tried to do this, I really want... I don't want it to happen. Come on! Oh! Is he shooting at my feet? Oh. Mm, okay, this is a waste of time. Also, look for photo elements. There's nothing happening right now, though. The moon's gone. Okay, you know what? I've had about enough of you guys messing me around. Okay, what do we want to compose you with, buddy? Is there anything? I mean, yeah, everything looks gorgeous because that's how this game is, but it's not that incredible. Going on. So, you're just gonna have to die. Oh, you lucky, lucky bastard. You lucky, lucky boy. Right. Crit. Crit in your face. Crit in your face. Okay. Uh, that was fun. And, dude, we walked. That was, okay. Well, again, how random. As we'll talk about random stuff. The nose knows. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Remove the space. Dude, okay, as far as bots coming into a stream, though, and then just, like, because cause this is what happened. Somebody designed this link. Somebody designed this link for botter people. I don't know how, how that culture works. I don't know how the bot culture <laughs> works in, in on, the, on, the, on the Twitch side of things. But this is what happened, you know, this is in my mind. Somebody, the, the head honcho, or I guess if this person's their own boss, maybe. Maybe people go around trying to sell followers and stuff. Maybe they're, maybe they're just making, maybe they're, it's kind of like an Uber situation, you know? Like, they're their own boss. Like, they go from working to chilling to working to on their own schedule, just like Uber. Uh, and if you sign up uh, for Uber right now, you can earn up to a $300 cash bonus after your first five rides. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, so this person, hey, it's no, hey, it's Dory, Doru. So like, I'm assuming it's just, okay, let's just assume that it's their thing. They're, they spend their day. They're like, okay, I got to create some links so I can have my bots go and post these links all over people's Twitches. Well, let's create some links real quick. And so they write, you know, they write this list of, of like, okay, here's a link. And they probably word them. In, in a couple different ways. 
And then some somewhere down the line, they were like, they were like, here's the link that I need them to click on. OK, put that in there. Oh, shit. I forgot that there's a space there. And instead of just deleting the, the space. Now it's locked in place. Thank you. Yeah, exa okay. exactly. So really? You say, oh, God. Uh, they're like, oh, oh, shit. I have to delete that space. I don't want to do that right now. It'll be more time. Uh, time efficient if I write in parentheses remove the space and then add that to the link to remind myself to do it later and then and then there uh, you know life life happens you know uh, life happens to these type of people as well and then they're they're like oh shit oh no it's 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 eight o'clock I gotta get on and start uh, dumping my my stuff on people's twitches quickly. Where's that link? And then they copy and paste the link that they forgot to amend. And then that, and then this is what we get. Or, or this person might not speak English. And I'm not making fun of them for that. They might not. And they have no idea what any of that says. They're, they're just, they just given a list here. These are the links that if you get people to click on, you'll make money, which I guess, is, I mean, I guess that's how that works. How do they get, is there a commission type situation? Like I would love to know after I finish my life, uh, doing photography stuff, I'll, uh, my next stage in life will be figuring out how that works. I think is that what that'll be. That's how that's going to happen. Okay. Anyway, um, random encounters this is what i was talking about and i think actually i do remember this this person this last adventure coming out after the the sun had gone down the last time we were at this spot um okay so this shot was crap i was like ah we can get it in front of him and he would make this happen walking in front of the port calls eh no that's not special these yeah these shots these these are not special shots then then she got attacked I like that she went from like, oh my God, immediately to up oh, Instagram posts, <laughs> Instagram posts, <gasps> checky, <gasps> oh, I'm so red, Instagram, oh no, there's monsters, oh, but there's Link taking a picture of me, Instagram, uh, that was fun, I'm going to save the one of her actually posing. <laughs> The one where she's frightened is like, nah, plus I composed it a little bit better. So let's save that one. Um, and then. Oh, I really wish I got a better shot of this. I do love the way that moon looks, though. Going down behind Fort Hateno like that. Wow, it looks cool. Um, and I was hoping I really wanted a nice magical shot similar to the one of her walking down the path in front of the portcullis but tilted up as we did here to include that beautiful moon I don't think this one came out that great though I'm going to save it for now I'll save it for now uh, I don't mind the landscape shot by itself or the structural shot architectural landscape shot like this either but I think this actually the second one of her. No, they're both pretty cool. I got I kind of want to save all those. Except, you know what? I'm going to delete the ones that we we cut her out of actually. I was thinking Although I like in this shot we're looking through under the portcullis and you can see the view through there into the little forest area behind it. Although we use that, it's actually just closed off in this one. So this one we'll we'll, we'll delete again because we lost just just that element alone. Kind of bugs me that we lost the depth looking through under the portcullis in this first shot. Um, you have to be a little bit further to camera left here to to have that perspective through the gate. Um. But again, we were like journalists, like we were there. We wanted to take that. We didn't have time to think about all those compositional elements. We just shoot. Um, but this one, yeah, we delete this one. These two. 
Actually, I'll only I'm just going to save this one of her, I think. No, I'll save both of these. This one feels pretty well balanced. I do wish there was some... Like, if there was a person walking under the portcullis, that would have made this special, but that's fine. We did... We did okay, we'll save all those. We'll save all those three. Um, but this one, the one of just Fort Hateno with the moonrise above it, uh, that one's going to be on the chopping block. Because it does, it's the it's essentially the same shot here, but then this adds that special element of the NPC, who's also in a very good pose as far as as far as walking like that. Um, just as a horse, all its limbs are going to be stacked up, uh, looking f straight uh, at it from the front or from the back. Humans, uh, when they're in profile view. That's where all our limbs are going to stack. Uh, the arms are going to be stacked up with the torso. The legs are going to be stacked up with the torso and themselves. Or at least the legs are going to be stacked up against themselves. Um, but as a profile view for the head, that can look cool. If you're looking at a profile view of a person, though, you're going to want, as we, as this, this happened to be here, one leg stepped in front of the other, separating those things. And then maybe a little bit of a separation of the arms, which we didn't quite get here, although her left arm is flung just a little bit forward. And there's enough contrast uh, on her shirt, the white of her elbow on the shirt, so you know what you're looking at. And she's turned towards the path, looking down the path. All very cool. I love the little glow from her lantern. Her shadow's not the most visible, but you can see a little bit I guess that's her shadow cast from the moon. Um, this looks sweet. This looks sweet. Moon looks cool. That's great. These are great. I wish the focus on the moon was held because the focus just fell off behind the mountain there. And the moon looks much better when it when it's held in focus. I wish in this shot, how cool would have the moon popping up over that mountain on the, the right top side there kind of somewhere the moon boom right there this would have been a real cool shot but it was funny that she posed in her little instagram post going going back to back to nakluda uh all right that's fun dude we got some good stuff there tell you what let's save That was a bunch of good stuff. That was a bunch of good stuff. Let's go. Let's go to a different locale. Locale. Going, going over to a different locale. Locale. Bubinga Forest. A cherry bubinga? Squabble River. Don't squabble over a river. You fools. Hickley Woods. I do really want to know. I know this spot. Dude, I remember this little spot right here. I remember. I do remember that spot. Little twin bridge. Ooh, dude. Okay, let's go walk over. Big twin. The Ash Swamp. It was like a little fort. Let's... Was this the shrine... It was like surrounded in those vines. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, Lake Saila. Let's go shoot Kakariko Bridge right here, since we're right there. Yeah, let's go walk. Let's just walk the path, dude. We'll walk down this path. Just as uh, Cicera, what was that girl's name? Just as she was doing. Yeah, let's go on a little walk. Let's take a walk. Take the base for a walk, huh? Keep our eye out for visual elements to include an in imagery. I like this tree stump. I like this stump. I'll take a stamella shroom. Oh, action shot, dude! Guys riding by. Is he? St I think he's cl he's looking right down the lens, man. Looking right down the barrel. Uh, 
You know what? Not a bad shot. Try to get another one. Oh! I should have, if I had tilted down, look at, the, okay. This is, this is a great angle and a great pose on that horse. I'm gonna save this for now. Let's... Ah! Ah! Ah, run away. Okay, well, I guess you didn't, I'm just trying to get past that Boko, huh? Um, anyway, that was fun. Uh, okay, so, so... Since I've been talking about horses and how they look best... How, how to make your horse look its best with Paul Mosihanton, the dude in the dark room. Uh, this angle on the horse is great. Okay, three quarters-ish. Uh, but more importantly, it's, it's, it's spread all of its limbs out as it's galloping. Okay, Edward Moybridge would be very proud of us. Um... But all the limbs are spread, perfectly visible. It's even even its its face is clearly visible from this angle. Uh, the rider also looks great on top of it. That's a that's a great pose on that horse. If I had tilted down, and that little hoof wouldn't have been cut uh, from the bottom right corner of the frame. Uh, and that would have been okay. Although I don't know. Other than that, though. I, I don't know, the foreground looks really dirty to me and just, like, nothing interesting. Like, the entire 50, bottom 50% 50 of the frame in terms of, the like, the, the foreground element, there's nothing in there. That Boko is way too far away for it to read as, as a danger. Here, at least, the Boko is kind of, like, approaching... I mean, honestly, neither of these are great. <laughs> the atmosphere is drab. The background is drab low conscious nothing about this is great i got a little there's a blue heron back there i see the little blue heron standing um and i like the the facial expression on the boko on this shot but other than that pretty boring both these shots are pretty boring but again a good example see even in this shot look how like stacked all the limbs are for the horse it's not honestly it's not the worst in this shot um but much better and and much better to emphasize the movement of the horse uh with it, with with the limbs all spread out like this so anyway let's delete both of those neither of those are great man um looks like we're what time is it looks like we're coming up on 5 a.m. Bye. Okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna leave this loot behind. Okay, sunrise. What are we gonna get? Maybe we can get a good shot of this bridge. Kakariko Bridge. Did we shoot Kakariko Bridge already? Is this where our boy is guarding it, walking across? I feel like we shot this one. I think, yeah, I think we did. But you know what? We're going to do it again at sunrise right now. Oh, no, choo-choos. You think you're all safe and good, and then suddenly a choo-choo will fall from a tree. Oh, shadow of that bird. Kind of like... <gasps> Ooh, I was telling myself I wanted a good shot of a waterfall. Hang right on. Look what we go. Oh, yeah. I don't know though. It's just like, let's think the sun was about to pop up. From behind this waterfall. Okay, let's actually include some of that greenery in the foreground. I don't really like the way that tree looks in the distance. That's fine. Or maybe we can use this tree. Mm. Okay, maybe we can get a perspective from over here. Get a choo-choo in there. 
Eh, it's okay. We'll save it for now, but... It's looking at me. It's kind of a disgusting blob. It can't hurt you. <laughs> ah, it's coming at me. See, it's like they kind of like roll around. Ah. Uh, where'd that dude? I thought that sunrise was gonna be real majestic over this waterfall, but that didn't happen. Oh well. Oh, <gasps> flying V atmosphere. Where's that? Where's that? Yeah. Hey. Okay. All right. That's not the worst shot in the world. We got the waterfall in there. We got the flying V in there. Looks like this choo-choo's just making its way down the path, you know? Moving right along. I should have panned. I should pan to the right a little bit. Let's do the same shot. I'm going to pan to the right. I'd like to include a little bit more of that winding path. Mm. Same thing, but let's tilt down a little bit. He's coming closer, though. Ah, no. Okay. Damn, dude. That Okay, that still came out okay. Here, we'll try to get that choo-choo again. I like the way that a choo-choo looks, though. Look at him rolling along. It's looking at me. No one knows where its eyes are looking because they move around independently of one another. <laughs> you can't tell where they're looking. Okay, we want that path in there. We want... Ah! That's not bad. I was trying to... I was. I think I was trying too hard to get the shadow of the tree. How many mega pickles? Link's camera has 100 Sheikahs of resolution. That's how Sheikah people uh, determine the resolution is the amount of Sheikah available within each site. Uh, there's a hundred Sheikah sites on the, on, on, and it's actually not a sensor. Uh, yeah, what you're going to want, uh, if you can, if you can visualize, remember we were talking hungry, hungry hippos earlier. Um, if you can visualize the hungry, hungry, hungry hippos board game. It, and just kind of make that just imagine that but as as a uh, image capture device that's the closest thing in our language uh the closest approximation of what they mean so yeah it's confusing to it's it really is a confusing thing to a lot of people uh i've had a lot of time to study it <laughs> so i'm good Right, dude, you're getting tired, Choo Choo. You're, you, you, well, guess what? Your contract, your contract said you're here. It's a 130, pal. Look at him hanging out under the under the shade of that tree. Eh, so how do we want? I think that's. I think I need a little bit of a longer lens on this guy. A little bit longer. Come on, pal. It's pretty ridiculous how quickly enemies lose interest in you sometimes. All right, what is this? This direction maybe a good shot. Ooh, we got those pillars of Levia up there. Um, you know what? I think that. I mean, this is like as good as that shot's gonna get. Yeah, we'll go between. We're not going to review those right now. Not going to review those right now. We'll maybe save that for the end of the beginning of the next stream. Let's uh, let's just get this guy over here, though. I'll take one more shot of him. Let's see if we can get it. Let's put him in front of the tree over here this time, though, and use the tree along the left side of the frame rather than. Uh, 
on the right, well, the right side of the uh, of the waterfall. We'll do this. Eh. Eh. There's a choo-choo. Let's get a better shot of a choo-choo right now as well. I know we've said we're going to do stuff like that. Let's get the choo-choo with this beautiful mountain in the background. And here we have to compose specifically for this little box in the center of the frame. Try to get a little bit of a lower perspective on it. Save that. And then do we get... Yeah, that's a better shot of a choo-choo. Look at that portrait waterfall behind it beautiful pink flowers uh the big eyes the bushy tail okay that's a much better portrait for the compendium look at that one he's all squished up no one's helping him yeah this one's better he's inflated he's all puffed bueno bueno replacing picture mission accomplished okay bye uh, you know what live and let live dude Ah, did he even touch me? He didn't even touch me this whole time. Here, we'll get one long lens shot like this, because I did like... I do kind of like this longer lens perspective here. Nah, let's kind of get him to the left side of the tree, though. It's a funny shot. Oh, he turned around! That's fun. Whatever. All right, see you, Choo Choo. Thanks. Your payment will come uh, in the form of mighty bananas later. It's going to be delivered in four to six business weeks. Thanks. Bye. Ooh, look at this. Look at these stairs. Look at those stairs. Now, give me the sunrise. What time is it? The sun rose, but like it didn't really give us a... No, I think we really want the wider perspective here. We need something interesting to happen, though. Watch. Dragon flies just above the mountainside there. Or through the set. Oh, that would be beautiful. But I'm not getting... I'm not getting nothing... I mean, I like the way this looks just bottom by itself. Bottom line by itself. But like somebody walking down the stairs or walk at the top of the stairs or the sun breaking over those pillars of Leviah there. Something interesting. I've said this like once or a dozen times and I'll say it another dozen times dozen and a half it's 18 times uh what just sitting here watching the light and the atmosphere shift is pretty fun and interesting it's like a time lapse in real time i really don't mind look at all those little particulates now terrible for link's allergies but he puts up with them because of their their splendor and beauty Okay. Mm, I could probably step step a couple inches in, or actually just zoom in and tilt up a little bit. A little bit too much. Of that. I liked a little bit of that grass framing the bottom. Just not as much as was there. Yeah, something like that. That's not bad. Take a small step forward. Tilt down just a tiny bit. Okay, now give me something. We need something interesting. We need something interesting here. This is what... Okay, well, there's some flare. Maybe the sun... I wish the time... The in-game time was on my camera somewhere. Because I'd love to see if the sun's going down. Maybe, it's, maybe it'll pop down... Just look how yeah, how drastically the the look of this location changes from minute to minute. Okay. 
save a couple of them, I guess. There's that. There's some flare, man. Is that sun? That sun should be going down. Ooh, some hard flare. Okay, just step to the left a tiny bit. Uh oh. <gasps> hey! Hey! Oh! No! I'll save that one with the puff, but dude, pop up somewhere really perfect. Ah! Yeah, just move slightly and he can't hit you. There we go. Oh! This is the... Ah, uh, of course, you're going to screw my... Screw my composition by shooting me. Oh! That's not bad. I wish he was in the more framed in the sky. Had I been... I can walk forward. I can put him there. I can put him there. Maybe. Oh! That's what I was talking about, getting him into the sky, but instead of along the uh, the, the uh, silhouetted edge of one of those pillars, this composition is terrible, though. Damn, this, we're just going to have like a repeat, oh shit, of last time. Okay, real quick. Choo-choo turned away. N whoop, 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 whoop. Choo-choo turned away. No. Uh, Choo-choo posing... I wish the choo-choo was just to the left side of the frame here more, so no. Um, pretty much all of these now are going to be crap. All these first ones, at least, watching that light change is more just so I could review the comp final composition when we were shooting these. No. And now we got that special element that we're going to add. We'll save that. We'll save those. We gotta have something to talk about. There's the one we used for the portrait. We'll delete that one for now. That's okay. No on that one. Doing a quick review right now. No on that one. Keep all those. Okay. And then I've explained enough why I like. Uh, why I saved these two landscape shots of, of uh, Hateno Village at sunset, sunset over Hateno Village. Um, I've explained enough, I believe. So I'll delete this one again. Just to reiterate, the sun went down too much in this shot, and uh, much of the foreground of the beautiful, vibrant color was lost. But I still like the flare and the sun peeking out through the clouds better in that second shot. Um, also, the overall exposure is is better. We're here. The sky is a little blown out, so delete that one. Delete that one. Saving that one. Let's get rid of the cold-footed wolf. <sighs> Look at that pose it's got, though. Beautiful. But that background needed to be a little bit more visible to really make this special. So let's delete that. Um... These guys guarding this fallen nail. I guess I'll keep that because it's kind of a kind of a good explanation of how we can build a story in the image, despite there really not being one. Um, because these guard these were at least I don't think these enemies were guarding this thing that had fallen. They just happened. This happened to be their area of of uh, jurisdiction within their jurisdiction to defend. So they just defended, and I was working around um, this fallen uh, dragon. I think it ended up being a dragon scale. Um, yeah. Okay, so we made some room. What did we say? This one, again, this keys in the thing. I'll save that for now. We made room. I'm not the. I'm honestly not a big fan of the rider going out from under the portcullis here. 
leaving Fort Hateno. The guy coming back into Fort Hateno, I think, feels more magical. We can get a better shot of this guy going under this riding out, leaving to go on an adventure. I think we can get a better shot of this. So let's just delete this one. We've taken note of a lot of the elements that we want to try to achieve. Uh, we want there to be a better... Uh, Obviously, we love the light breaking between the mountain there, so we got to keep that in mind. Anyway, delete this. Was that the best? Um, and then we'll save, save, save. Oh, we have so many of these choo choos, dude. Yeah, because we're gonna talk about it at the beginning of next stream. Let's shoot this situation out. Look, he is just. I can't tell. I think. Yeah, no, the tip of the tip of it just got me. The tip of his air, his bow is just peeking at the top of the frame. This is a bad, would have been bad composition either, even if it wasn't there. But that's fine. Okay, so keep uh, keep giving me good compositions, buddy. Fuck. <gasps> Ooh. Got that guy walking. Oh, he ran away. I was like, someone do battle with these people, dude. Oof. That's a fun shot. Let's save that. Again, if I walk forward, although we're going to lose the bottom of the stairs, kind of, but if I walk forward quick enough here and tilt up, we can separate him, uh, the ninja, from that pillar that it kind of looks like he's sitting on top of. Let's try. Oh, he started to fall too quickly. Delete it. Damn you! Mm. He's like, he's just appearing a little bit too far from the camera to be... Looks like he's he's got on in this photo. I'm gonna save that one. There we go. That's a good spot for him. I like that one. Again, a little bit too small in the frame. But that's fine. Oof. Okay. Let's try to grab... He's about to shoot his, his bow. He's about to shoot me with arrow. Let's try... Um, wait, wait. Do you think Link would enjoy spending time in the dark room? Um, I mean, his, 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 his shrine of resurrection is a bit of a dark room type situation, and that saved his life. So... I'd say he enjoyed that. <laughs> Or is he more of a send the negatives to Costco to be processed and printed? Huh. You know what, dude? I would take I would take Link to be the type of individual that would actually find the little mom and pop camera shop to develop his his stuff at and get printed. Cause he's doing, dude, he's doing he's not doing black and white. I mean, black and white's super easy to develop in in your own dark room. This motherfucker shoots transparency film, okay, and he's definitely not messing around with the cu the temperature specifics of developing uh, that type of film. It's just not going to happen with him. Okay, Link's the kind of guy who has he's got a. Uh, a carousel that he he loves to put his transparencies in and he does like what i'm doing here except he he invites uh many of his pals a lot of sheikah friends uh, pop up a lot of haruleans pop in um impa has been known to make an appearance at at, at his slideshows and he just kind of rolls through the slideshows he's just talking about his adventures this is where i killed ganon this is another time where i killed ganon Here's Ganon again. This time he's he's alive at this point, and but I will kill him. Uh, here's Zelda. Here's a picture of Zelda. She didn't know I took the shot. Let's keep that one a secret. 
And so yeah, he's a transparency guy for sure. For sure. Uh save this shot. We're saving the shot. Oof, no, we're keeping this old shot, dude. Did we take that on the stream? I know we got Oh wait, oh pfft. in Oh Oh In talking to you, I forgot that we were gonna try to get a shot of the arrow actually flying towards us. Oops. Oof. Oof. That's okay. That's an okay shot. How many more? Okay, we have five. We have four. Wait, five more shots? Okay, I wanted those things in there, though. Okay, if I shoot... Like, one more time, right after I get out of the this menu, I should grab a shot of those arrows flying at me. Oh, nope. Well, he shot me too fast. Let's back up a little. Let's get this whole kit and caboodle thing right here. That's a cool shot. The lighting sucks now, though. I like this shot though. That shot's really rad. Uh, with the full edge, front edge of the bridge here. Ooh! Ooh, and he happened to jump. That's a good spot for him. All right, let's try to grab, again, in a split second, he's gonna fire his, his arrow at me. And if I do it quick enough, I can grab a shot of the arrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Little trigger happy, Mosey. Uh, no, so none of those, although did any of those have slightly better anythings? Not really. I like that little, the light seems like it's coming back onto the front edge of the bridge, which would have been ideal for this shot. Okay, well, I can say that one's not going to be good. Oof. These two are fairly similar, but this one, he's closer in the frame. The lighting is better. Let's just delete that one. And then these two are the exact same thing, because that's when we we're trying to do that sequence to get the to get the arrow flying at me. I think, okay, in this in this second shot, uh, take note of the tassel on the edge of his bow. In this shot, it, it's still flowing. It's still uh, kind of like floating up. Whereas in this shot, uh, gravity has taken its effect. And it's hang the tassel is now hanging down a little bit. Let's save the one with the hanging. Let's save the one with the low hanging tassel. Okay, and then let's just keep going. Oof. Yeah, hit the, oh, the light on the edge of the bridge. No, his his composition is going to be stupid right there. Oof. That's okay. I guess I'll save that one too. Oh, look at the shadow. And get his shadow on the ground too. It'd be magic. Okay, now if I do a sequence, I will get, which I'm gonna try. Oh. Come on, just give me a good spot. Yep. Oh ho ho ho! No. Oh. Dude, I boned myself on that one. Okay, we'll talk later. We'll talk about it later. Paul, not now. Now's not time to talk. Jump up! Taking pictures. How do you do it? Oh! There you go. See, when you wait, Paul, you get the arrow. It still doesn't look great, but at least I got it. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, keeping this one. Eh, album is full again. Schnapps, dude. We're gonna keep running into these issues. This one's no. No on that one. I'm gonna try not to describe too much right now so that we can just keep moving. This one is too far away. Too far away. Too small in the frame. Riding way too close to the edge of the top. No. That one's fun. Oh yeah. Only reason I wanted to save this one is it looks like he got himself a nice pair of soaps. A nice pair of soaps shoes on this shot. And he just ju he just jumped along that handrail. And he's sliding down on his soaps. Do you all remember soap shoes? <laughs> Speaking of tassels. Tasteful nudes. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Processed. Yeah, we did. Good point. Have you done any shots of, the, of Ganon during a stream? No, we'll do some boss battles. We can get boss battles in here at some point. That's a good point. I'm thinking perhaps some tasteful nudes. Yes. Uh, Ganon uh, is never wearing clothes, uh, uh, believe it or not. Um, speaking of tassels. <laughs> yes, he's not fully unclothed. He wears very, very risque clothing. Anyway, this one looks like he's sliding down the handrail on his soap shoes. That was why I saved that. But other than that, it's deleted so we can make some room here. Here he's disappeared, but we got the guy popping up. This one looks like he's sitting on top of that thing. Is this just a puff cloud there? No. It's just I'm just gonna try to delete the ones that are like total crap. Save at least one of those. Um. Mm. I liked it when we backed off a little bit and we we contained the full area of that those steps up to the bridge. I like it when we backed off. Originally, I was using those as a, as a foreground element uh, completely, but I like it when we contained them. Um, so let's just delete this one since we learned we changed our composition around, and then we'll save, save, save for now. This one would have been so great. I mean, it, this one's okay. I hear, again, though, I'm not, first of all, I'm not centered, or if I am centered, I'm I'm panned a little bit to the left because the, the, the bridge itself, those those two pillars, the four, the, the frontal pillars of the, of the handrail staircase thingy, um, those are not uh, uh, symmetrical in the frame. They're like, they're off from each other a little bit and that bugs the shit out of me but his positioning is great in the sky he's got a little edge light from the sun um here we got we got him shooting the arrow that's fun not nothing really that great about that one otherwise though um and then we got i think we got some room this one's crap i like that he's his money's flying or his calling cards whatever that's supposed to be Other than that, though, let's delete him. Okay. Okay, we got a couple. I'm going to shoot out a couple more. Try to get... So, yeah, let's hold this whole... Again, this whole zone. That's an okay shot. Yeah, so we want both of that. We want everything in there. Just jump into like the perfect spot, dude. Oof. This guy's coming back. He's like, maybe the ninja's gone now. I'd love an interaction between these two people, though. Somebody help me, please. I am going to do nothing because I'm going to continue shooting my photos. Thanks. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh. Ah. Nah. Okay, I'm 
Um, also, the light's also shifting, so we can get some better light in here as time goes on, maybe. Oof. Do your thing, foot soldier. Let's go kind of a bit of a longer lens type of thing here. Oof. No ticket. Yes! Yes! Wait, I missed that! <laughs> no ticket from uh from uh Indiana Jones. Um No ticket, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh I love it. I love it. I'm about to do that one after we finish. I'm loving the color and the the light right now. If we can get a good shot at sunset like this, absolutely love it. Oh, oh again though, those pillars are a little offset. That's fine. <sighs> he needs to jump on the other side where there is not the pillars broken. That would be the most balanced position. But he keeps popping up along the right side where the pillar is still intact. <sighs> Deleted. No, see, I jumped to that left side. Exact same position, just opposite. Why does it like to... Oh, there's a V! That's a V! Oh! Well, we got the V in there. Miyamoto loves to throw those little curveballs at you. Okay, the sun's about to leave. Oof. Okay. Not bad. We want him, like, in the sky. In the sky, man. Oh, and especially along the left side of the bridge. Camera left. Oh. Would be a real sweet shot. Okay, I don't mind that, like with him perfectly posed at the top. Kind of. Ooh, there's another one of him with the arrow in flight as well. I'll save that for now. Not easy to get those. Although you have two chances when they're firing that duplex bow, huh? That was kind of it again, too, but nope. Two, two on axis. Okay, last shot, dude. Make it count. Oh! That one's okay. Okay. Um, let's, no, we'll do one more. We'll just do a couple more. We'll do a couple more, okay? I'm not crazy about that one. Let's delete that. No ticket. Wait, was that? Wait, wait. Salt Man says, sometimes I feel like these Yiga guys don't care at all about it. Yeah, I know. They definitely don't care about my photography, dude. They have their own agenda. And it pisses me off. <laughs> uh, redeem ban. Wait, I want to try this redeem. No ticket. Yes. Oh, it's just audio. That's why I didn't see it. I was like, I didn't see a video clip pop up. That's fine. Uh, was there not supposed to be? Just out of curiosity, not not complaining. If I, people do things for me for free, I am not going to complain. Unlike when I shoot stuff for people for free and then they somehow, <laughs> they somehow can complain about it. Anyway, look at the light, dude. The light is definitely getting solid here. 
I'll also have you note the shadow of the of the clan member on the right side, the pillar on the right side of the frame here. That's kind of cool. I didn't even catch that till just then. There's that flying V. We got to save. I like him in these relaxed poses again where his bow is not as ill-formed. Yeah, like see between these two, it's like I want him to have that bow relaxed. There's the with, with the adventure in the frame as well. Okay, well between these first two, let's just keep the one with the flare and the better sunlight on the actual bridge. Um and then let's just delete like one of these with a choo-choo. This one, he's on the he's too close to the bottom of the frame on this shot. His shadow is getting cropped out, which I don't like. I I I always I feel like a subject's shadow is often, although we did get the flying V in that one. I oh, know he's in this first one though too. Again, these are like very similar shots. But one, his full shadow is held along the entirety of the frame. It's not cropped out. Whereas here, it's like, yeah, I think if you look at just the composition of his structure, the structure of uh, the Choo Choo's body itself, it doesn't look bad. But then when you start to, when you consider the shadow, it's like, oh, the shadow's kind of cut out a little bit. Um, which, if there's like a lot of shadows in the frame that are all doing that, it can be, it can look fine. I think it's just when when there's like this single subject and that shadow is cropped out it starts feeling weird so i'm gonna save the one where the shadow is fully in the frame uh even though i think i like his direction of his pose and he's larger in the frame in the second one but doesn't make up for the crap okay so anyway keep shooting this stuff oh okay no i gotta pan to the left just a little pan to the left just a little buddy Ooh. Ooh, although he will fall and relax too, huh? So let's you let him do that. Oh. Okay, that shot's pretty good. That shot's pretty good. Uh let's save it. Oof. It wouldn't be bad to get him landing on the ground in front of the bridge either, though. Like posed in front of the bridge, just chilling. See if we can do that here. Whoop. Oh, nope. That's a fun pose though. Like that's right before he disappears. Bad composite. Everything's bad about it, but or right before he, he's doing his backflip. Okay, he is. Oh. 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 That's a fun shot, dude. Why wasn't he? He could have, should have been on the other side, but that's fine. Oh, album full. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, shit. It's like I want, I want to stay here and shoot this like for hours, but we cannot. We cannot. Alas. Um, we got a lot of good stuff though. Hey, there's a good close up of their currency or whatever those are, calling cards or. What are what are those? The guy I don't know, man. They use that little eye of truth symbol as their like symbol. Upside down eye of truth. Of course. Um, I like that shot. I should have waited like one more second for his bow to come down. He brings it down towards his body, and that's when you see its full shape. Like this. Here, he's still kind of pointing it at us, but it's not as big of a deal here, I don't think. Um, yeah, we got a lot of good stuff with this guy. Let's not... All, I mean, if we get... They're all going to come out fairly similar. I mean, they're definitely not, because every, every, every time the light changes or the atmosphere changes, that can add for some... Cool stuff. But anyway, I think I've had enough of this guy. I've had enough of him pushing me around, causing problems. I'm done with you. I'm going to take your duplex bow. I'm going to take your rupees. And there's those mighty bananas that I said we would give to the choo-choo. 
which we cannot do, but I wish we could. Um, yeah, look at this this view right here. That is absolutely gorgeous. This path. In fact, here's what we need to do. I do need to do a self-portrait. So, let's delete one. Um, other than the fact that there's a close-up of the currency in the frame here, which is kind of interesting because we talked about seeing that closer up. This is kind of a crap shot, so let's just delete that. Because um, then it ended up waited a second, and then here we have a much better much better composition and frame or pose on the enemy at least. Um, so that's fun. So let's use this as a sweet background for our, oh, the light just moved. Whoops. No ticket. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. First of all, what was that? Okay. Oh, you can delete from here. Oh. That's neat. Um, I don't want to fuck around with that because I might delete them all on accident. Um. Whoops. Ah, Paul. Oh, see the light just reveal the light like moves in like weird directions. Uh, it's a fun shot though. Little self portrait of Link. That's nice. Another good, good little self portrait shot. We don't, most of these don't come out that great, but that's a, that's an okay shot. Again, his, he's weird because you can't, the, the like the camera's like position is like locked looking at the one spot on him you can't shift it around um so you have to compose with him centered in the frame uh but i like that backdrop that's a fun little self portrait no we'll keep that picture in my bow and we got a full album Ooh, that was sweet no okay yeah no thank you <laughs> dude i have we have uh some redeem potential that i got ready to go it's one of those things i gotta work on okay anyway let's save before i forget no ticket <laughs> regular or menthols that'll be that'll be one from ninja turtles okay save um i'm not gonna do a full breakdown of all these right now let's just look at what we got we got our self-portrait at the end beautiful uh, we were shooting Kakariko Bridge. That's what our mission was. We were coming to shoot this, which I, which we have taken photos of before. I, no, we shot Proxim Bridge. A lot of these bridges look eh, oddly similar. Probably reuse. It's probably like the exact same bridge. Like I don't know if it would be considered a sprite, the bridge itself. But um, anyway, we definitely shot Proxim Bridge. Where's Proxim's here? Manala, no, where's Proxim? Proxim, uh, it's down here. It's down here. It's down here. Proxim, yeah, we shot Proxim Bridge. Pretty extensive. Pretty extensive shoot with Proxim Bridge. Um, but we're not at Proxim Bridge. We're at Kokoriko Bridge. So anyway, we came over to shoot Kokoriko Bridge, and we were just shooting um, the south face of the of of proc of the kakariko bridge uh looking north towards the pillars of Leviah. uh i liked the way that looked but then this yiga clan guy pops up and gives us just a real nice real nice subject to shoot uh which was our 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 uh, decisive moment we were waiting for something interesting which is funny because even if he didn't if he didn't pop up that that uh random traveler that we saw try to cross the bridge a couple times and then get scared away that person would have walked up eventually and we would have gotten a good shot of that person walking down um naruto oh ninjutsu scrolls like naruto okay I might have to look into what that is, though, because I don't know. I, mean, I know what Naruto is, but 
I just don't know about these 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 scrolls. Is it? It's you're saying it's a ninja scroll. Redemption is broken right now. Trying to pay. oh, dude, don't. Well, it worked. You know, what I mean, it's badass. What it is. Um. Either way, coming to shoot this bridge, we had that decisive moment pop up, just land on our feet, and it happened to be this, this, this foot soldier. Uh, and then we shot this out again. I'm not going to break down each one of these cause it's going to be tough. We're we'll do that at the beginning of next stream. Again, it'll probably be about an hour long, um, an hour long breakdown. So let's just, let's just, let's just, uh, wait till next time. Uh, but we did shoot plenty of different compositions and it's going to be tough to pick. Although I can, again, guarantee you that it's probably always going to end up being those later shots. That's, I mean, that's true. That's true in life. With a lot of photography, you well, at least they in in school for portrait photography, especially um, the old adage was if you shot like six rolls of film at during a portrait session, and this is going back to film days. Uh, if you shot six rolls of film, it's going to be that sixth roll that has the real keeper, beautiful portraits. Um, and that is because with portrait work, the relationship between the photographer and subject is very important. And when you first meet somebody and you're first shooting a, a, a subject or just a person is, is, is at the beginning of a photo shoot in general, that's usually when they're the most awkward, they're stiff, they're not relaxed, uh, they're a little apprehensive about what's happening. And so it takes some time for the photographer and the subject to warm up to each other so that the, the, the true sense of that portrait of the, the, the portrait of the person, the true sense of who the person is, is going to come through a lot more in those last few shots. Um, and I would argue that that is probably very true with a lot of subjects that might take time for the photographer to work out what you're seeing and what you're responding to and how you want to compose all those the things in the frame to tell you the story you're trying to tell and working that out might take until the last few shots um so generally in my work whether it's portrait or not it's it's the later of the series of shots they're always going to be the best pronounced jiff yeah oh yeah that guy just passed away the the, the guy that uh invented the jifferon is jj and jiff Great game. Anyway, uh, we'll go into the particulars of this later, the particulars of these images. Because like I said, it's going to be these last ones. The I mean, the light also just got better here. Much more interesting color. Dramatic. The lighting became more dramatic as the sun's going down. Although, I don't know. I'm going to pick these apart because there's things I like about both. I do like the vivid nature of the color during that. Uh, when the sun's at the higher point and then in a shot like this where like the they just happened to fall into shadow that adds a pretty bit of a dramatic effect so we'll break those down in more in depth more later on the next stream for now that being said this is our first we, we, we were here just to shoot like a shot like this just a nice portrait of the bridge of the front entrance of the bridge and uh and then we got this foot soldier pop up adding that special element uh, and we'll decide on those at the beginning of the next stream. Uh, and then just before that, we had this little choo-choo pop out of the tree there. And it's like, hey, I want a picture of me in front of this beautiful landscape. Come on in. And I was like, hey, wait your turn. And it did wait its turn, and then I took photos of it. And it came out all right. We also ended up, we walked away with a pretty sweet, from that little shoot of the choo-choo, we did walk away with a pretty nice new uh choo-choo portrait for our compendium i like that uh and we'll go through these uh you know we won't keep i don't think i don't think i need three choo-choo photos on my roll but i'm not sure i like the way the waterfall looks in that sh in the background there but it also is a very flat dimension to it on that side whereas when i composed it without the 
waterfall here. We let it be more about this path. Uh, I think I almost like that better. Simplified the composition maybe a tiny bit. I don't know. We'll figure again. We'll go through all those later. Uh, and then honestly, these this was like the real get of the stream when the moon popped out over Fort Hateno right there. Wow. And then we got a, uh, a shot of Carisi. Was that her name? Carisi. Carisi walking back to the path after she'd been frightened and was fleeing from those bokos, boko goblins that were actually attacking me. And actually, they didn't really seem to pay much attention to her, but I was hoping to get some sort of interaction between those two people. And there are situations where I, I've, I've definitely come across NPCs fighting with uh, enemy NPCs. So maybe we'll get some more of that. Not today. It didn't happen today. Um, anyway, when that moon popped out, that was really special. And then we had got this nice little portrait of Carisi. After she calmed down and posed for her for Instagram portrait. Um, so what's the get the get of the stream though? The pro snap pro snap pick of the day. That's the pro snap pick of the day before i have a sweet graphic that we can like have on the screen i'll just put it in the text <laughs> oh wait salt man says sims like the compendium portraits don't have any of those shika artifacts distortions like all the other album picks hey that's true well i mean because we're looking at the shika slate though so it i mean there's still stuff going over it but I, I, I see what you mean in a way. In a way, I know what you mean. Um, they are larger. This would be larger than the, the actual full image itself. Um, either way, that's... that's. See, why can't like, I view this full screen? Whatever. Uh, now they're hither nor to the... The pro snap pick of the day. The pro snap pick of the day here is... It's got to be this moonshot above Hateno, dude. I think with Carisi walking through the frame, she's actually in a good spot. I like that we can see the path all the way through under the portcullis, through the woods to grandmother's house. That moon looks great up in the sky there. Beautiful. Thank oh, you. Wow. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Um... I, I, I probably wish the moon was a little bit lower in the frame, maybe. That's probably the one thing. Although, if it had been, I would have probably ended up tilting down maybe a little bit more, and that would have cut a lot more of the sky. What I don't like, that the one thing that bugs me is that top rock in the top left corner. I don't like how the rock cuts through the frame and then opens up again for that little corner of sky. I wish the rock just wasn't there, letting that whole corner breathe a little bit, or it was completely clo closed off uh, and and mimicking what the top right corner looks like. Um, it's not the worst, though. It's not the worst thing in the world. Although I probably, if I had tilted up just slightly to let that that little tip, little tip of that rock breathe a little more, would have been fun. But oh well. Um, definitely the pick. Definitely the pick of the day. A lot of elements came together in that moment in a very special way, I would think. Not only is the NPC in a position that they usually wouldn't be in because it got chased off of its path. Um, also, the moon rising up. Very cool. Uh, looks great. It looks great. Thank you, Sawman. Thank you, Redeem. Thank you. Um, yeah, first step pick of the day in West Nekluda. And that includes that... Can 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 includes the stream. I'm trying to work Nakluda <laughs> into conclude uh, that conclude uh, the streamer. Um, yeah, we got some good stuff. We'll, we'll break these down in detail next time. We got a little portrait of Link. He looks happy. Um, so yeah, let's save one more time just to be safe, safe and saved. 
And yeah, I hope that was, dude, I hope that was fun, man. I hope that was entertaining. That was, that was pretty sweet. Um, yeah, thank you all for hanging out and being a part of the stream. Really appreciate it. Hope that was fun and entertaining and worthwhile. Uh, we did we did get some cool situations that came across our lens, came in front of our lens tonight. So that that was that was cool. Um, got a new picture for that for the compendium. That's cool. Ended up with a lot of cool stuff. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream and you're new and you like photography stuff, in-game photography stuff, camera related stuff, video related stuff, video game related stuff. Uh, this is a great, uh, great place to come hang out. We like to do our photography-based things here. We also do real-life photo shoots every once in a while on the stream. I've uh, been getting some, some of those prepared. Should be, should be doing more of those pretty soon. I was hoping to get my studio lights set up, but that's taking forever. Um, but uh, let's do socials. Let's do the socialists. Let's do the socialist. Do it. If I could spell, if I can spell right. Uh, whoop, wait. Wait. Messed it. Wait, is this working? Yeah, YouTube's working. Oh, maybe it's because I did social, not socials. Ah, the French. Uh, so, if you want to check out previous streams, you can go to YouTube. YouTube has most streams that we do end up uh, for your viewing pleasure later at your at your demand, something they call video on demand. Uh, and then also while we're doing these streams, we're actually just building a lot of material to put together into a video describing photography in this game. So in this case, photography and Breath of the Wild, that's one video that we're working on. Uh, those will do the socialists. It's a dance. Um, but we will have nice produce, nicely produced videos going over uh, the photography in what, whatever games it is that we're playing. Uh, and those will end up on YouTube as well eventually. Along with, we have some, some other interesting things like uh, movie reviews. I have my own little movie review uh system that I'm working out, uh, camera gear reviews. I got some camera gear stuff that I want to talk about. Uh, all that's going to end up on YouTube. So obviously check that out. And if you're watching this on YouTube now and you enjoyed it, obviously would very much appreciate a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, Instagram, mostly where we're going to post real photos that we take. If we do a photo shoot on the stream, as we've done in the past, again, check out the YouTube for the ones that we've done previously. Um, those photos will end up posted on Instagram. We've done a little bit of game-based uh, photography posting. Uh, night, bro. Thanks for coming. Uh, couldn't wait another two minutes for me to get off the stream. Got to interrupt me by <laughs> saying bye right when I'm wrapping up, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. It's fine. I love you. Um, Instagram's where we'll post most of the real life photos, only posted a few in-game photo stuff on there so far, but more, more of that will pop up as well. I, if I could get these off here individually, I'd probably share a lot more of these Zelda shots. They're great. Um, just, but we'll, we'll post more video game stuff on there eventually too. But for, for now, it's mostly going to be real life photo sh stuff, photography that we take here. Um. Uh, Twitter has mostly been alerts for when we go live, but maybe we'll get some more stuff on there eventually. And again, if you've liked the stream and you've enjoyed being here and it's, uh, you like photography stuff, uh, obviously consider following the stream. It's a great way you can help support our growing our growing family here. But uh, if you want to support the stream in another way, Patreon is a great place to go and check out. Would be much appreciated, obviously. Thank you to all my patrons. I love you. Thank you. Cherish you. Uh, yeah, if you're enjoying, as Streamlabs has just said, uh, uh, enjoying the stream, don't forget to follow and turn on notifications. Yeah, if you, again, if you liked, if you enjoyed this, would really appreciate a follow. We're trying to make that 50 follower mark. I know my goal is like kind of not ready, but it's fine. Um, 
either way, really appreciate you coming and stopping by uh, and hanging out. Hope it was fun and entertaining and all that. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for Photography Friday. Uh, we're going to be doing Fallout 76 stuff tomorrow, um, which just to get a head start, if you want to see what we do on that stream, um, I mean, not only will those episodes are those episodes on YouTube where you can watch full episodes, but then prosnapcameraclub.com is our website we've built out dedicated to the photography in Fallout 76. Uh, and if you want to see the photos that we take, you can check that out. Uh, and that's a, what we're going to be doing tomorrow around the same time, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and yeah, I love, thank you. Thanks all, man. Uh, I love you guys. I love you all. Thank you all. Appreciate you all. Uh, always remind you to love yourself, love others, love life. Don't lose your dinosaur. Uh, and I will see you dudes tomorrow enjoy the rest of your evening thank you love you goodbye peace my friends appreciate your time appreciate you i appreciate y'all i cherish y'all follow the stream there peace